Hi there and welcome back to Vacuum Tube. Flanges are metal parts used to create a vacuum tight seal and are extremely important to create and maintain a good vacuum. A standard vacuum system often has many different sized ports for the user to add different tools such as gauges, pumps, and other measurement or synthesis attachments. Today we will teach you how to properly attach vacuum components using a conflat flange on a vacuum system. Some of the things you need include a spare conflat port on your vacuum system, a part that you wish to attach with a conflat flange of the same size as the port, an unused copper gasket of appropriate size, appropriate nuts and bolts to attach the port, and two, a wrench and a hex key size to your bolt head and nut. The first step to attaching a flange is to examine the knife edge of both the system and the part. A conflat flange uses two identical knife edges to cut into and deform a copper gasket and maintain a vacuum seal. So it is crucial that the knife edges are uniform and undamaged. Look for any dents or cracks, and you may have to replace anything that looks damaged before moving forward. The next step is to clean the flanges and the copper gasket with isopropyl alcohol and a lint-free cloth. Metal gaskets such as copper, nickel-coated copper, or nickel are single-time use, so make sure to use a brand new gasket every time. Here's an example of a gasket that has been used. Now, place your clean gasket in the slot and loosely position the two sides of the flange. Line up the two leak detection spots on the flange and bolt them together to hand tightness, ensuring that the gasket stays in its proper location. It is also useful to line up the leak detection slots so that they face toward the outside of the system and can be easily located during leak detection activities. Finally, the most important step is properly tightening the bolts. You will want to attach one wrench to the bolt head and one wrench to the nut, and then incrementally tighten them one by one. Also, you don't want to just go in a circle because this will cause the knife edges to bite into the copper gasket unevenly, leaving gaps that may cause vacuum leaks and possibly even bending and damaging the flange. The best way to tighten the bolts is to use the star pattern, where you always tighten a bolt across from the previous one. This is exactly the same thing you do when you put your spare tire on your car, and you do it for the same reason, so that you don't bend the metal while tightening. You don't want to crank down super hard on any one bolt. You want to do a little at a time in the star pattern so that the knife edge bites down evenly into the copper gasket. Never tighten super hard on any one bolt. The flange was designed so that proper tightening is achieved when you cannot see the light between the two faces of the flange on the outside of the copper gasket. If you are concerned about tightening enough, another way to ensure uniform attachment is to pump your system down and then do another round of tightening once you are under vacuum and then wait to see if your base pressure approaches the expected value. Guidance on torque values can also be found on the Kurt J. Lesker website and ranges from 7 to 15 foot-pounds depending on the port size and the coating on the bolt. Thank you for joining us today for Vacuum Tube.